Warning, this video contains stories about blood. Enjoy. So, uh, this is only one story, but... Hi, guys! It's me, Sarah. So, um, today I'm telling you a story about how a girl cut her toe in half. It's very gruesome, so if you're sensitive to anything about blood, uh, might want to click away from this video. So, ah, that hurt my tooth. Out. Um, so, when we were camping last year, I was nine. My, um, my dad, all three of my brothers, and my mom were there. And our RV, like, we were in a campsite at Mazura Lake, which, if you don't know, is like an hour and a half away from Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada, but we were just there, blah, 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 um, our RV had some engine problems, so, um, we had to call in an electrician guy to come fix it. Um, so Mum and Keegan were distracted by that. Oh, sorry. Just a minute. Okay, so, uh, I'm back. You might see that it's on a different angle. Hello. Okay, so, my dad's friend, let's... Call him Joe. No, let's call him Jack. And then his new girlfriend, Jill, came. Jill had a daughter named Jackie. So, um, Jack and Jill just started dating. Uh, and they decided, and Jack decided to bring Jill and Jackie whatever her name is, <coughs> to the campsite to meet us. So, this is our first time meeting Jackie. My, this is my first time meeting uh, Jill. So, I've only known Joe. No, Jack. But, um... <coughs> so, we... So, um... How about let's call the daughter Jelly Bean, because that's something that I cannot forget, because Jelly Bean is a word that's stuck in my brain. G-J-I-L-L-Y-B-E-A-N. Jelly Bean. Uh, okay, so Jelly Bean, Austin, and I went over to a fort that we found a month before. Oh, this took place in July, and uh, Jelly Bean was like 11 Somewhere around there, 11 or 12. But Austin, Jilly, and I were in there. We were just hanging out. And, uh, wait, before before that happened, something really quick. So, um, Jack and Jill went to go for a walk down the hill. Okay, so they went to go walk down the hill, and they... Specifically told Jelly Bean, don't touch the hatchet. Do not touch the hatchet. Whatever you do, do not touch the two-day-old brand-new hatchet. So, Jelly Bean didn't listen. She brought the hatchet to our fort. Uh, Austin had a lot of experience with a hatchet. He's been, like, cutting wood since he was, like, five. So, he... He was playing with the hatchet, cutting down, like, sticks and twigs. But Jilly Bean, however, had no experience. Austin went to the campsite to help Mom and Keegan with the technical difficulties with the RV. And so we were just hanging out. Uh, Jilly Bean still had the hatchet. Um, I would... 
so it was like very blocked off jelly bean like it was like a two meter by three meter thing with no door you had to climb over it in order to get in and out so um i was sitting on the back ledge while jelly bean was right in the middle of the fort and i don't know why but in the middle of the fort there was this giant log just sticking out i don't i don't know um and jelly bean was just cutting it while i was sitting on the ledge looking into the beautiful forest because it was beautiful um and she was cutting she was cutting this log it, the bark had been like torn off of it so it was just an empty log looking for a home um so she was cutting it and she missed and she hit her toe and she's like ow and i looked over at her and she's like um pointing at her toe and i'm like ah! so uh, i i run to the campsite and i'm like jelly bean cut her toe in half with the hatchet and they're like what um so my uh austin Austin heard me, and he was like, what? And then Austin told Mom, and she's like, what? But she heard Caitlin cut her toe off with the hatchet. So, like, that made her even scared. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Um, but they ran to the fort. Mom was like, how am I going to get in there? Uh, she has a broken leg and back, though. But, um, so... Mom went to go ask Jelly Bean some questions, and Jelly Bean was like so confused. She's like, "What's happening?" She was in so much shock. So, um, we went, we went. Austin and I stayed for like ten seconds, and we ran down the hill. Jack, Jill, Jelly Bean cut her toe in half with the hatchet. Get up here quick! So Jack and Jill ran up the hill, and they were like, "What?" So, Austin stayed back to comfort Jill, because, like, her child! Um, and, uh, Jack, Austin, and I ran up the hill, and, like, there were logs in our way, so we had to, like, jump over them, and we were like, watch your step! So we ran, and, like, oh, uh, Jilly Bean was also wearing flip-flops and shorts, which is the worst thing to wear cutting wood uh so like it went right through her toe like ugh. so jack came in and he's like what did you do jelly bean so like he he we took off the flip-flop and there was like blood spewing everywhere taking every red candy wrapper i could find blood spewing everywhere everywhere blood 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 death she didn't actually die though but she uh she was in, she was still in so much shock uh so jack went to go pick her up after we removed her flip-flop and like he carried her like a baby she was like what's happening so he he ran over to back to our campsite and by that time Jill and Austin already got back, so we laid her. We laid Jelly Bean onto the picnic table, and we uh, she, um, that was when she realized what's happening. She's like, what? So like, we ran into the RV and grabbed as much cloths as we could find. Oh yeah, and Darwin was sitting in the car listening to music through all of this. So like. And I guess Keegan was helping the electrician guy. So we grabbed, like, all the cloths out of the RV. We were like, we're coming for you, Jelly Bean! We're coming for you! Um, and, like, they had her put her her foot, like, right out. And they wrapped it with the cloth, but there was nobody holding her foot. Like, I think there might have been, but she was like, it's too much weight! I can't hold it, it's too much weight! So, like, a... I don't even know if she remembers this because she was in so much shock. But, like, we were like, yeah, um. So, they, 
They laid her down in the back seat of the truck, and they drove as fast as they could to Grand Prairie. Like, they were like, uh, we gotta get her to the hospital now. She got stitches, and then, like, four days later, my cousin showed up. We still had, we still had the bloody flip-flop, which, it, I guess it was kind of a souvenir. I think we threw it out later. Or maybe give it back. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, sorry for my stinky foot. You wanna smell it? Wanna smell? Okay, so, um, I... Okay, so, they were driving, uh, we found, after she got the stitches, her toe was all black and blue and red and purple. It was not a pretty sight, so, we, uh, a week later, my nine cousins showed up, like, Actually, some of them are part of the fun time group, which I'm later going to post some videos about when, next time I see them, which will be probably after, probably the spring break. Yes! Ow! Fist! Quit punching my roof. Good lesson. Okay, um, we, we, like, it was like nine o'clock at night, but it was pretty dark for nine o'clock. It was probably actually 11, but we got everybody set by the campfire, and I'm like, Mom, you should tell everybody about the hatchet. So they were, so she stood up and made sure that if anybody was caught looking at each other, she would scream at them, because they had to listen to this. She's like, last week, we had a girl cut her toe right in half with this brand new hatchet that was only two days old at the time if i catch any of you guys playing with this hatchet you're in big trouble mister so like she she got pretty mad and she showed us the hatchet which had a bit of blood on it which is unsettling and then she showed us the bloody flip-flop and uh yeah it wasn't very pretty, so, uh, yeah, I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And, bye!